Being in the music production world while also being on YouTube is probably the easiest way to fool yourself into thinking that you have to have everything that comes out like right away. And if you try to keep up, you're gonna go for broke before you even finish this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Nefertiti Gold and I'm an electronic R&B artist. And even though technically I'm unboxing a new synth today, it's actually not and I'll explain that in just a moment. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid, but we're gonna touch on that a little bit later on in this video. Now, as I was saying, I have a new synthesizer that technically isn't new because it didn't just come out and technically it's not really new to me. But in the process of unboxing my new synth, it did get me thinking. It had me thinking about gas, which is mostly known as gear acquisition syndrome. It also had me thinking about what exactly goes through our minds when we think that we need a piece of equipment. Now the synthesizer that I'm referring to is Argon 8 by Modal Electronics. Now, long story short, I originally bought this synthesizer used off of Reverb.com. After a period of time, I started experiencing some issues and I actually sent it back to the US distributor to see if I could get it fixed since it was still under warranty. Now, after many weeks of waiting, they reached back out to me and basically said that it would take way too long to wait for parts to come in to fix it. So they just sent me a new unit. Now, because I had originally bought this used, I didn't really experience that feeling you get when you open up a brand new box and there's a new piece of gear and all of the plastic is on there. It's wrapped to perfection. There's user manuals and extra plugs and cables. I didn't get a chance to experience that the first time around. So this time I get to do an actual unboxing as if I bought it brand new. Now I'm at a point within my music where I finally understand that you really don't need a bunch of equipment to make great music. It's really important to look at what you have right now and just maximize what it is you have at this current moment. Now, once you get to a point where you feel like you're actually hindered by your equipment because you've gotten so good at what you do and you've really used everything to its fullest capacity, then at that point in time, definitely start looking into different ways of improving your toolbox to improving your music. Now, the thing that kind of sucks with gear acquisition syndrome is that if you get pulled into the world of advertising and wanting to buy everything brand new as soon as it hits the market, you never really have a chance to save money because it's brand new. It isn't used yet. It's not on Reverb.com. It's not going to be on Facebook Marketplace yet. And luckily for me, by the time I figured out that the Argon is what I want, it had already been out on the market for a few years, which means that there's a good chance that I could find a used version of it and still kind of save some money because I don't have to buy a brand new unit at that point in time. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm an electronic R&B artist. And from listening to the demos of the Argon 8 online, I felt like the patches and the type of sounds that it could create really complements what I'm trying to portray. Now, I did find a few patches on the synth that I really love that I felt could really work well in trying to create a song. And before we get into that demo, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, DistroKid. Now, I've been using DistroKid for many years long before I was making YouTube videos. I recently released my latest single, WTG. And with DistroKid, they offer an array of tools that you can use to promote your newest releases. My favorite tools that I like to use is HyperFollow and promo cards. Now with HyperFollow, you can actually create a pre-save link that you can literally just spam everywhere. And once your song releases, this link automatically updates to allow for other links to all the streaming sites to be on there as well. Now for me, once I release a track, I want to keep Keep that momentum going by using promo cards. I can use them on Instagram stories, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Now, if you are a DistroKid member, these tools are free to use. And if you're not, go ahead and click the link in my description for 7% off your first year. So as I was saying, with the right piece of gear, you really wouldn't need multiple pieces of equipment to get your musical idea out, which is pretty much what I did with this demo. I tried to take a couple different patches and create a full musical idea with it. And this is what the demo was.
wanna kick on, never wanna make time. They wanna get tired every single time that I go out and get mine.